morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, 11.17 a.m. We, you know, we spent the morning sleeping in, <laughs> having coffee. We just now both took showers. Mister is out in the garage working on my um, vintage secretary desk. I have a bunch of stuff here on the table that I have to decide if I'm gonna be bothered putting on the Buy Nothing group or haul over to Goodwill. I, it's easier to put it on the Buy Nothing group. So I think I'm gonna take some pictures and list the stuff, pull out some stuff that I know is trash. And yeah, I think that's gonna be the way to go. All right. At least that's my first project of the day. Anyway, let's get it done. Good morning. It is Monday morning, uh, February 5th, just before 10 a.m. Mr. Bob is back off to the office because their virtual private network is still down. Um, so he can't do what he needs to for his job from here securely. So he has to go in. So he did that. I um, haven't gotten a lot done yet this morning. I did of course sit and have all my coffee and stuff check social media i've got some stuff i'm giving away um so i messaged the person for that after the first person didn't get back to me um and i got the vlog edited yay so now we're going to go downstairs i've got to do the dishes i'm going to take a shower and get dressed um We are going to be doing some rearranging here in the art room. Probably not today, and I'll probably do it slowly a little bit at a time and really think about it. But there's some stuff out there on the shelves over there I don't use. There's some stuff that's in the closet I do use. So I'd like to switch that up. I'd also like to, to clean up this top part. There's some things we need to change up, I think. Um, and I've got a lot of mediums and stuff. You know, you buy a little jar of medium to do something with and then you just have that jar forever and you never use it again. I, yeah, anyway. <sighs> Still haven't done the bookkeeping. <laughs> All right, let's go get some household chores done and let's get actual put clothes on because yeah this is my pajamas um and take it from there okay. i'll be back i got some bins for reorganizing the craft room um i tried to save some money and go to dollar tree first uh ross dress for less walmart before I went to Target, but none of them had anything that would work. And I mean anything. I could have gotten cardboard boxes at Dollar Tree for like 98 cents each, but then I'd have to cover them with contact paper to make them look nice. Oh. Anyway, I got what I wanted. It matches every all the other bins in the art room, which I guess is good, but yeah. time to go home. I also picked up some baby crackers for grandson and I found some rose printed 100% cotton, cotton sheets. A whole set of sheets for 20 bucks at Ross, which was unexpected because I wasn't looking for that. And um, I've been looking for rose printed sheets, cotton sheets to do some um, sewing stuff with um, coming up. I didn't really expect to find it, so that was a happy accident. But anyway, it's time to go home now because I've done enough damage. I'll be back. Hey guys, it's just after lunch, which I ate, um, and I'm back from running, obviously back from running errands. I am allowing myself to be distracted from said paperwork, and I think we're going to do some cleaning and reorganizing here in the art room. It's, it's a little bit messy, but I also need to move things around just a little bit because... Um, my muse is telling me to, and there are things that the last time I reorganized the craft room, um, I put away thinking I wasn't going to use them as much and things I left out thinking if I did that, I would use them more. It hasn't worked out that way. So I need to move some stuff out of the closet onto the floor and some stuff on the floor back to the closet and just kind of clean up the clutter. Cause yeah, I'll be back.
Hey guys, it is six o'clock, uh, Tuesday, February 6th. The clip you just saw, of course, was my grandson. It's Tuesday, so babysitting day. Um, and uh, he was a big ball of energy, so Oma's tired. <laughs> um, <laughs> he tried to uh, restyle my hair, yeah. <laughs> anyway. I am sitting here waiting for Bob to get off of work upstairs. Um, he's back working at home and um, working on my blanket. So tomorrow is counseling day and then I'm going to go run some errands. <sighs> anyway, I have, a, I have a voucher at Michael's, a $5 voucher, and I have a 40% off coupon for Joanne's. So I'm going to go use them post counseling stress shopping maybe anyway i'll be back morning everybody see that grandson's finger nails <laughs> anyway i had counseling this morning it is about just after 11. my seatbelt on already hi yeah yeah anyway um i really have had all my coffee i swear Anyway, we're gonna go out and run a few errands. I need to go to the library and stuff. And we're gonna go get that done and then come home and have lunch. Counseling was good. I'm always glad and happy to be able to have somebody to talk to, a safe place. If you're struggling with mental health issues, it's a good and, in my opinion, necessary thing. And why I didn't do it decades ago, I have no idea. I am also learning to take responsibility for my own actions and stuff and not continually blaming it on other people. Because the buck stops here, as Truman would say, right? So do stupid shit, win stupid prizes. I don't want to be that person either. So one of the things my counselor and I talked about this morning that I think is just a brilliant idea is I was telling her about when Bob had his um, surgery recently, um, how I realized when I got him to the hospital and was waiting for him to go into surgery, I had forgotten any keep me calm things. I didn't have a sketchbook. I didn't have a balling art and a crochet hook. I didn't have anything. And, um, she said it would just be, although I don't carry a handbag that much anymore, like today I don't have one, it would be good to just always have a bag packed by the front door and to bring it. She's not wrong. And I do have bags I could do that with. So I'm going, and I do have a sort of a handbag by the front door that when I need to bring more than just my wallet and my phone, I, I grab that. What if I put it in a little bit bigger bag and have a ball of yarn and a crochet hook just always in there? I mean, and or my um, minimal um, art kit bag that I made. I'll put a video link down below. I think it's a great idea. So we will be doing that later today. Anyway, let's go run some errands. Guys, it's after four o'clock, uh, still Wednesday. Um, when I was out earlier, I used some of my coupon and rewards money to get a ball of Valentine's themed yarn. So I ended up with loose loops and threads facets acrylic blend. It's an acrylic nylon blend. Um, it's one of those yarns that kind of wants to be a roving yarn, but I, it's very fragile. So if you put too much pressure on it, it just snaps in half. I wouldn't use it probably for a sweater, but definitely works fine for a craft project. You do have to be a little gentle with it, which I'm not always the best at doing. I found a cute little pattern by Hook by Rob, Robin. I'll um, try to find it and link it down below. It's just a simple little heart pattern. I printed a copy of it on it, so I'd have, I work better from printed than video. Anyway, finally got my hands on a Dollar Tree crochet hook. I used a five and a half. Um, this yarn calls for a six, but the five and a half was easy for me to get my hands on. I made a bunch of these little hearts and I printed some cards and how cute is that? I have a whole bunch of them and 
how cute would it be to just leave them around town in the library box? Of course, give one to the kids if I want it and have a bowl of them on the kitchen counter if somebody comes over. Here, hey, hey, here you go. Um, I think that's really cute. So anyway, and then I put, I left a little like sort of hang tag of yarn and did some taping of it to the back of the card. So really cute, turned out nice. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. It's 4.10 p.m. on Thursday, February 8th. I almost said a.m. <laughs> I've been babysitting all day. Um, uh, a little longer than normal, my daughter, who is a realtor, by the way, I will try to remember to link her info down below if you need a realtor in the state of Oregon, anywhere in Oregon. Um, she had a uh, inspection today for one of her clients. So, um, so she dropped him off kind of early and then, um, her husband just picked him up a few minutes ago. So anyway, I am going to, <laughs> I'm going to tackle the end of 2023 paperwork, which it's February 8th. I still haven't done yet. So yeah, I really hate paperwork. I should be way better about it, but I just hate it anyway. So we're going to do that <laughs> and I'll be back. Okay. Excuse me. I got nuts in my mouth. <clears throat> 2023 paperwork is done. I don't know why I put it off so long. It just makes it way more complicated. I don't make tons of money doing this. And if I just did a little bit of paperwork, like once a month, it wouldn't. I wouldn't stress myself out so much about it. I do know better, but anyway, it's done. Yay. Alrighty. On to the next thing. I have to relabel a bunch of stuff that I changed around. So there's that. I'll be back. All right, guys. So the bookkeeping is not only done, but everything that's needed to be relabeled is relabeled. It's finished. It's been, been that way for I don't know how many weeks. And then I rearranged some more stuff just the other day and there was more labels needed. It's, I got it all done. I got the bookkeeping done. Like those two huge things on a babysitting day. No less. So my next goal is to get that blanket done. Yes, another blanket. And then I'm gonna start on a, another sweater for myself. I do still have a couple sweaters that I made. I may just leave them and wear them as is. One of them you can see where I started and stopped the rows very clearly in the particular yarn I used. I should have done it in a spiral. Plus it's a little bit big. I might just leave it and wear it anyway. Another one, the sleeves are way too long. Um, and I'm going to actually, the whole sweater is too big for me, but the sleeves are too long. It's a cardigan. And I'm going to actually shorten the sleeves because I'll wear it, but I do need to. And I have short arms, you guys. It's not the only thing I own with sleeves that are too long, but these are really too long. So I'm gonna shorten them, um, but First, we need to finish that. So one thing at a time. Hey guys, I'll be back. It is just after lunch, Friday, February 9th. And I am headed out to go pick up some Papa Murphy's pizza for dinner tonight. That's kind of a you bake it pizza. They put it together, but they don't cook it. Anyway, um, I think all the kids are coming for dinner. Um, and um, of course, one of the kids is gluten-free, which I've said before. We do have cauliflower crust in the freezer for her. We always do. Um, so we'll get a pizza, a homemade pizza made up for her. Um, and then, yeah. Other than that today, I think it's going to be a quiet day at home. I've just not been in the thrifting mood lately. I love thrifting. Don't get me wrong. I don't need anything, though. And I think I'm going to spend the afternoon working on some crocheting and starting a new sweater. I think it's a better use of my time and I already have the stuff. So anyway, I'll be back. Hey guys, good afternoon. Ugh, don't I look a sight. Um, <laughs> anyway, Bob had a Masonic Lodge thing this morning. I stayed home and crocheted. I didn't feel like going anywhere again. I don't know what's up with that, but anyway. Working on a new sweater, making good progress. Trying a new pattern, which I love already. And then when he got home, we went out to go grocery shopping. We've got one more place to stop for Super Bowl Sunday tomorrow because the whole family's coming over. And uh, we're gonna go get some crumble cookies. We'll be back. Hey 
guys, we got the groceries and cookies and everything put away really quick. Uh, we're gonna go for a walk <sighs> because we decided probably rightly that if we sit down, we're not gonna wanna get up off the couch. Since COVID happened, not only were we fighting the fatigue for a long time, uh, but now I think my lazy inner person beast has just come out and she doesn't want to go back in the closet. <laughs> that too. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna make myself go for a walk, make us go for a walk. Anyway, I did make a bunch of these not long ago to leave anonymously around the neighborhood. So unless y'all live in my neighborhood and you watch YouTube, they're not gonna have any idea where these are from. They are in plastic in case it rains. So we're gonna go leave them around on park benches and stuff. And yeah, get a few steps in and then we'll go back and I'll finish work on my sweater. Maybe I'll be back. Maybe, yeah, well, I had lunch. He needs to have lunch. All right, I'll be back. All right, you guys, we're back in my bathroom again. But anyway, so here's the sweater I've been working on. I do think that I want, I need to do about four more rows, I want it to be a little longer, but I have to say, I haven't put the sleeves on yet, but this is the best fitting one I've made yet, I think. <laughs> um, I could have made probably the neckline a little bit narrower, but that's okay. I'm probably going to end up wearing a shirt under it anyway, because uh, I get hot a lot, and so, and I might, oops, sorry, I might make it with short sleeves. I don't know yet. The pattern has three quarter sleeves, which I might just go ahead and do, but... Pretty sure I'm gonna have to, pl I have enough yarn. I do think it might be a matter of yarn chicken again, like the blanket I just did, but I think, I think there'll be plenty. And if it takes as much as I think it will, I might not have enough of Premier Puzzle to do another one. So yeah, I like it. What do you think? Guys, it is after 10 o'clock that I know for sure. What time exactly? 10.27. Um, almost forgot I actually have a watch on. It's called a Fitbit, but it's actually a watch too. Anyway. Um, it's been a good day. Long, kind of a long day, but a good day. We got all of our errands done this morning. Well, after lunch, Mr. went out this morning. I worked some more on this sweater I started yesterday. I got the whole body of the sweater done. It's another from the neck down sweater. Um, it's more of a square neckline than round yoke, but anyway, um, I just have to put sleeves on it. In this pattern, it has three quarter sleeves, which I think I like, so I think I'm gonna try doing that. This one fits better than the other pattern that I've been doing, um, which is probably the pattern, but also probably me. To be fair, I do still like the other pattern. I'll be working with it, but anyway. anyway. I'll be finishing that sometime in the next couple of days and then starting on the next project. Um, I need to shorten some sleeves on a sweater that I made. I might still frog the cotton top that I made. Um, I like the pattern, but I don't like the yarn I chose. And I don't like working with cotton. I'm kind of on the look for a cotton blend yarn that has a little stretch and give to it um, that's kind of lightweight. Uh, maybe some kind of cotton poly blend. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Um, what else? I need to grab my knitting bag, which a crochet bag, which is up here, to throw everything in that's downstairs, because everybody's coming over tomorrow for Super Bowl Sunday, which means I need to clean my detritus up and like hide it in the bedroom closet or something downstairs, because um, there'll be people, a lot of people here. But it's been a good day. Uh, I, you know, we went for a walk. I took some of the Valentines that I made and I left them around the neighborhood. They're in plastic bags just in case things get rainy wetty um, and they're weighted down with rocks. But it's been, it's been good. Um, I checked out an Amigurumi book from the library. I need to, there's another one waiting for me. I need to go get that one, um, maybe Monday. Um, and I am going to make some amigurumi soon. Um, that's going to be a thing. I also oh yeah, okay. printed some patterns and they printed double-sided. I did not want them to do that. Oh, that's just great. 
That's just fabulous. <sighs> I'll have to print those again. At least the pattern pieces, because that won't work. Anyway, um, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on, as always. It's been a fun, crazy, busy, interesting week. But <sighs> it's the end of the week. It's time to give the usual speech. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I hope you enjoy my content here on YouTube. Please support the free content how you can. At, at the very least, please like, share, and subscribe. That doesn't cost you anything. Um, that would be great. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Um, I do have a Patreon. I am going to and in the process of writing some crochet patterns for them. Um, sharing YouTube digital down, uh, sorry, Etsy digital downloads with them because the Etsy store is currently closed and going to be staying that way for the foreseeable future. Um, it was costing more money than it was making. So, you know, work smarter, not harder, right? I think that's how that goes. Anyway, I, I, I enjoy you guys very much. I enjoy doing YouTube and I enjoy all of that stuff. Um, but if you can support the free content, I sure would appreciate it. So anyway, don't forget to have a great week. If you're celebrating the Super Bowl Sunday game thing with your family and friends, have a great time. I don't follow football, but I mean, you know, will I be in the corner crocheting? Probably. <laughs> anyway, you do you and have a great time doing it. Enjoy your friends. Give them a hug. Um, sh share and spread the love and kindness and all that jazz. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you next week. Bye guys. And where did I leave that crochet bag? It's here somewhere. <laughs>